it's Bessie LB and I am back again with another product review from Trader Joe's. So today we're going to be discussing the sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancakes. This is what it looks like here and you're going to see what my initial reaction is in this video. Check it out. So it smells like it's been deep fried. And I grew up in the Northeast um, of America, in case I have, you know, I know I have some subscribers that are not in America. So Northeast in Boston, and we are super, super huge on fried dough. Now, some places, they do things called beignets. They do all these other things. We like fried dough where it's a big old, like, puff. A lot of sugar um, on it, some cinnamon if you want, you know, things of that nature, and it's deep fried. So when I opened it, because I don't eat a lot of fried items, I was kind of thrown off because it does smell oily. Um, I just don't eat a lot of fried stuff as I did when I was growing up. So that kind of bothered me because I took them out of the pack with my finger with, well, with my hands rather, and I put it in the air fryer and I just kept smelling the smell linger. So if that's like kind of a thing to you for people that don't like fried smell, that may be a turn off. But anyways, let's get on to trying it because I know you guys are interested in my, my initial reaction. Okay. So it definitely is doughy. Um... Heavily uh, cinnamon flavor. Uh, the cinnamon filling reminds me of just like some nice butter. This is before reading the ingredients, but a lot of butter, a lot of cinnamon, some sugar. Very doughy, but chewy, which is kind of nice. Not too chewy, but you get that crunch. Like it looks... I did the air fryer, and it does come with air fryer instructions. So you get that little bit of crunch, but you definitely get that doughy effect. I mean, it's definitely tasty, but it's definitely greasy. Um, so it's definitely a treat, for sure, for sure. It's not something that I feel like you should have all the time. I almost feel like, because the cinnamon is quite a bit, it reminds me of a Cinnabon, which means I love the icing, a part of a Cinnabon. That's like my favorite part of a Cinnabon. So I think this would be heavenly with some icing. They suggested some vanilla ice cream, but honestly, I think that would just be too much. I think a thin layer of icing would be perfect. Okay, so I was pretty detailed explaining to you guys what it reminds me of i showed you all what it looks like what it tastes like um i have explained that and my overall thoughts so i don't have to continue to go into full detail just know that they are sweet they are greasy um they're a pretty decent size it comes with like four in a pack and i ate two in one sitting and then i ate the other two another sitting but I should tell you the throughout the night and the next day I definitely felt sick now it hasn't it's not about the product per se that made me sick as far as like oh something was wrong with it it's just exactly what I suspected when I was tasting it it is greasy guys right it is greasy it, it there there's no sugar coat in that it's definitely greasy um and as i said in a video of when i was tasting it it's one of those kind of greasy things that when you put your fingers on it and then the the smell still lingers that's how you know that it's definitely like greasy okay and even touching it you know when something's greasy and it's kind of like spongy feeling and it makes that like sound because it's kind of like secreted with grease inside of it it's greasy um <laughs> I, I i can't even sugarcoat that and so throughout that night i did not fit well 
So like I had a vomit, my stomach was hurting, and again, I'm just someone that don't, my body can't process greasy fatty foods like that, especially for me. I don't have my gallbladder anymore um, because I had gallstones, and so I, I can't speak for anybody else, but ever since I have not had my gallbladder, which is kind of a blessing in disguise because it doesn't process the fatty foods anymore. It's not there. So trying to process something heavy like that will probably be a lot on your stomach. So I'm just, I'm being very open about this because I'm an open person, but because I want to be clear that you don't think about these things until these kind of things affect you. You may not want to purchase it if you're a person that has like, I don't know, heavy GERD or um, gallstones or anything like that, gallbladder issues, just because this thing is greasy. It's fatty and <laughs> with the amount of oil. So yeah, it tastes good, but I don't think that I would buy them again just because the way I felt sick afterwards is why I wouldn't buy them. If you don't have any of those issues, disregard anything that I said. If your stomach is made of, I don't know, brick and you can handle greasy things, definitely try it. It tastes good, but it's just too greasy for me. So that's my honest review. I hope you guys um, do try it out if you want. Let me know if you enjoyed it, if you hated it, if it's not for you and this review was helpful enough for you to not try it. I'm glad I can be helpful.